Hi everybody, in this video we're going to learn how to make a scale slider. So in this demonstration we can take whatever we have on the canvas and change the slider bar to make things at a bigger scale or a much smaller scale. So we can change the scale of the objects on the canvas. Maybe you're making some sort of solar system simulator and you want to be able to look at the planets or maybe you have some sort of map that the player can zoom in on and look at different areas of the map or maybe the player has a binocular or eyeglass and wants to look at a place far away so you can make something far away look close. Whatever the case may be, the scale slider can make objects bigger or smaller for your user. So let's look at the code and see how this works. All right, so I have two global variables, one for the scale. So I'm setting the scale at one. So I'm just assuming one will be normal, the normal size of the objects. Anything, anything less than one will be smaller and anything more than one will be a larger scale. And I have a global variable for my scale slider. And in my setup function, I am creating my slider. So scale slider equals create slider. And create slider accepts four arguments. The first one is the minimum number. So the smallest scale I have is 0.01, so 100 times smaller. The largest scale is five, so five times bigger, because five times one is five. And the third argument is what is the starting scale? So my starting scale is at one. And and the fourth argument is what is the increment? So when I slide the slider, how much will the smallest change be? So the smallest increment or the smallest change will be 0.1. Then I'm just positioning it at this X coordinate and this Y coordinate. And then the draw function is how we can get the value from the slider and then change the objects by that scale. So translate says translate width by two comma height by two. What does translate mean? Translate means you're shifting shapes left, right, up, down, or diagonally. That's that's the math version of translate, and that's what we're doing. In P5, the origin, or where x equals 0 and y equals 0, is the top left corner of the canvas. But you can move the origin by using translate. Translate means you're just sliding things over. So I'm sliding the origin from the top left corner to the middle of the screen by this translate command by saying I'm moving the origin to width divided by two, so that's the middle from left to right, and height divided by two, that's the middle from the top to the bottom. So now the exact middle of the canvas is where x equals zero and y equals zero. That is the new origin. So what happens to the x and y coordinates? Now it's a little different. Y is still positive as you go down, and x is still positive as you go right. But now x is negative if you want to go left from the origin, right? Minus 10 would be like right there. Minus 20 would be like right there. And y is negative as you go up. y equals minus 20 would be like here. y minus 250 would be up here. Now x can be negative and y can be negative and you'll still be on the canvas. Now why am I doing this? Why am I ch translating it so that the origin is, is in the middle? Because when I multiply a n zero by a number, it's still zero, right? 10 times zero, zero. I want things in the middle to be the same when I'm scaling an object up or down. And I'm just scaling the outside of the object either smaller or bigger. So I'm multiplying the shape by the scale. The shape will move out as it's bigger because I'm multiplying it by a number and it will move closer to zero as I'm multiplying it by decimal, right? 10 times 0.1 is one. Everything in the middle, everything in the origin will stay the same everything outside of the origin will change by the amount of the scale. And then I'm just getting the value from the scale slider and storing it in the scale variable. So whenever I change the slider, the scale variable will change to that value. And then I'm multiplying all the coordinates of the shapes by the scale value. In the rectangle, I'm multiplying x by scale, y by scale, uh, the width by scale and the height by scale. I'm printing the scale and the scale value near the scale slider. That way I can see what that scale is. So that's what's happening. So when the scale is getting smaller, I'm multiplying the width and the height and the x and the y positions by the scale amount. 